hey everyone welcome back to our channel all about being in this session i'm just going to take you through some of the frequently asked questions in data factory okay so these are the questions that i keep seeing uh, in different places by different people so i thought i would uh, quickly cover uh, all of them okay so can we append data or text to files in adf yes but not directly but uh, uh, by way of merging okay in copy activity we have uh, the flexibility to merge files so if if you want to append uh, some new lines to an existing file what you do you write those new lines to a temporary file and then you merge that original file with the temporary file okay using copy activity so that way your content is going to be merged or appended into one single file after you have done this merge you have to delete the temporary file that you keep in mind okay and what if some source uh, connector is not available in data flow uh, this is applicable to both source and sync in data flow you might uh, uh, try to connect to a particular data store in source or sync and it's not available available but it is available in copy activity for example if i want to bring data from an on premise uh, sql server i cannot connect directly from data flow right now okay it's not supported similarly if i want to write to oracle sync i cannot do it in data flow so in these scenarios what can i do uh, with respect to the first case i want to uh, retrieve or i want to read data from an on premise server what i do i use a copy activity i bring the records and then i and then i put it into azure storage okay from there i i take it inside the data flow and do whatever i want similarly if i want to write to oracle sync what i do i i write to uh, azure storage um, in the same way and then from azure storage i use a copy activity and write it to oracle sync okay so i think that i answered that so third question is data type of additional column in copy activity additional column is for providing some extra information uh, on top of the existing information coming from source file like uh, who ran the pipeline or at what time uh, the pipeline or uh, the copy activity is run uh, get kind of get date uh, or last modified date um, there will be certain columns in uh, your uh, table uh, sync table which captures last modified by last modified date and all so um, that kind of information or the file path which is being loaded that we can provide so these kind of some basic information that we can provide and uh, um, I, I don't think we can do a type conversion there in the additional column there is no facility to do that okay so everything is treated as string there so just take care if you want to handle uh, date time and all okay can we save the changes to pipeline without publishing um, without publishing uh, we cannot uh, save un uh, unless and until you have a uh, git uh, or uh, devops as your devops linked to your data factory okay if you have uh, linked or connected your data factory to that kind of uh, um, repository git or uh, azure devops right you will have the ability to save the changes then and there okay without publishing but if you are uh, connecting in live mode to that data factory then if you close the browser without uh, publishing the changes then the changes would be gone okay so that is that and uh, delimited text uh, more columns than defined error okay you are you are going to do some copy activity from source to sync okay in source you would have uh, set a schema okay uh, in your data set you would have defined a schema in the sense my file is going to bring five columns or six columns so the schema is read from the sample file that we provide during the creation of data set okay and in case uh, uh, there are additional columns to the same source file in future it's going to throw this error okay and if you don't want to validate such schema and you just want to copy the file from one location to another one data store container to one, one um, blob storage container to another you can make use of binary mode in data set okay so that's it with me for this session um, if you have similar questions you let me know in the comment section thank you so much